I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Beyond Eyes. Are you not gonna play the intro for me? Ah, oh, crap. I messed up my first attempt, and there's an intro it's supposed to play. Hang on. This is a game I haven't played before, but it's, uh, it definitely seemed like the sort of thing I'd like to show off. Very interesting concept. This music should be rather emotional. It has a really cool watercolory art style to it. The game's out on PC and Xbox One. I'm not sure if there's a PS4 version planned. It's one of those ID at Xbox games. This is the PC version. So yeah, he plays this little girl. She loses her sight, and uh, the way we see is through these pretty watercolor things. really like that art style. There's a few other games that I've seen that are doing this sort of 3D painting. Kitty! go along you sort of unveil things and it's really neat and so the, um, the art style sort of got my interest immediately but the uh, what was really cool is this the sort of searching out your surroundings and you sort of see the I guess basically what she's imagining everything looks like um, one slightly ironic thing this um, the game obviously still does re revolve around actually being able to see. There was this... Oh, I wish I could remember the name of it. There was this game that um, basically the intent was that a sighted person and a blind person could play, you know, the same game. And basically the only visual stuff is, you know, just reinforcing this, the audio cues. And so you can play the game the exact same way whether you're sighted or not. I, oh man, I don't remember the freaking name of it though. Um, not sure if it's released yet either. I was looking into it and it wasn't released when I was trying to find info about it, but uh, I'm not sure if it still is now. I'll go and I'll try and find that. Where's Kitty? I like the idea that you can, you know, see things that uh, are longer, away, farther away, because, you know, they have sound. So you can sort of imagine there's a fountain over there even before you get too close to it. So, what was that? Hey, Birdie. Birdie, stop phasing out of existence. Birdie! Birdie. That's weird. Wonder why it won't paint all of that. I guess we have to paint the whole structure before it. Yeah, that's a that's the deal. Unfortunately, it does not seem to be a way to speed up. Excuse me. That's one I talked about. Well, I guess I made a blog post about that. Um, sort of a common things and you know games people like to call walking simulators to give you a slow walking speed to uh, 
sort of enforce the pace, but in my opinion it's not particularly necessary if there's, you know, really cool stuff to look around at, you know, I'll go slower anyway. And it doesn't really have this effect that I think most people want it to. So, you know. And it's sort of frustrating because I really love, you know, quote unquote walking simulator games, but uh, I'm not very patient, so the slow walking speed, which is very, very common, does kind of get grating. Actually, let's check out our options here. I assume there's no faster movement. Yeah. Camera. I guess that's camera movement speed. I'm using a controller. Hi, Birdie. Where's Kitty? Where's Kitty? Hi, Mr. Woodpecker. What's up, Kitty? Where'd you go, kitty? Nope. See, that's one time- the- the slow movement... It's not necessarily a problem if you know exactly where to go and you go straight to the thing. But when you end up hitting walls and you have to go all the way back, that's when it gets kind of annoying. I really do love that. Um, the ball. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm locked. Oh, maybe I can go around. Nope. Nope. Uh oh. That is kind of neat, though. You don't see actual blocking obstacles until you know. You feel them. Nanny. Where's Kitty? I guess I'm looking for the bird that's screaming. Can I go this way? Nope. I really do love that drawing in effect. Um. Where are we going? Come on, kitty. Guess he must be out further. I guess if I were blind, I wouldn't really run around outside all too much either, but the uh, blocking speed is kind of a problem here. And it's especially kind of frustrating on video, because I mean, I don't really mind what pace people pl Oh, bird kitty, where was that? Over here? Ah, there we go. I don't mind what pace people play their own games at, but I don't want to sit around and waste people's time. Kitty. Come here, kitty. I'm surprised Parker isn't annoying me for this one. What's up, Nanny? You're a chubby little thing, aren't you? This is why Parker's an indoor cat. Aw. Hey, Mr. Bird.
Oh god, you were supposed to open the gate. I didn't even think of that, because we haven't used the interaction button yet. Ugh, well I feel stupid. So that's kind of... frustrating. It's like at least half my fault, but still. I sort of bumbled around in the garden for a bit there, um, before I thought, what if I could go through the... Well, I basically explored everything else, so I had nothing to do but check the gate. I honestly kind of would have appreciated a, one of those silly quick time prompts to press X to do the thing because, you know, I simply hadn't ever needed to do that before. I didn't really even think of it. Let's go ahead and look for a kitty. See, when stuff's happening, it's... the walking speed really isn't a problem. But, uh... In general, these game, kind of games can sort of try too hard to enforce their own pace, and then if you get off the path, it's a real big problem. And I, I'm not really sure all the developers particularly realize that it's a problem. Because I mean, once you when you know the path, it doesn't feel slow. But I don't. Isn't that right, Barky? But like, uh, for an example, Gone Home, I um, I never felt that was too slow. I felt the walking speed seemed fine and you're constantly finding new stuff so it keeps you engaged. Uh, Gone Home really isn't my favorite game mostly because uh, the way I consider Gone Home is that oh man I love that we can we can hear the water under us but we don't really see the the walkway that's really cool. Uh, but at Gone Home it was like a pretty not great story told in a really amazing way. I just it wasn't terrible or anything, but it just really didn't enrapture me too much. Oh wow! That was great. So yeah, this is what I was hoping to see. That I'm kind of bummed I got stuck in the garden for so much, because I mean... Now that I'm not... Things seem a lot more interesting out here. We were obviously intended to just go right, pretty much right towards that gate after finding Nani and then open it. Uh oh. Don't be lost again. Is there something we're supposed to be looking for here? I see that. Hmm. There's that orb thingy. It's obviously a tree. Oh. I can probably just walk right through this grass, can't I? Okay, I feel dumb. I was thinking because you usually couldn't do that in the garden that you couldn't do it here, but no. That's gonna be fake. No. Not a very effective scarecrow, is it? Alright, here we go. We're getting some changes in understanding. watching. Bird. Birds are jerks, honestly. <laughs> Barker, please don't attack this screen. He's looking. He's thinking about it. I know he's thinking about it. What? What are these? Why would someone have put these here? Oh, well. Parker's so excited by the little wispy things. Nanny. You can swear he hears the birds because he's all excited, but I'm wearing headphones, so he definitely doesn't. And this, the path, um, I really like that. It doesn't entirely make internal sense, but uh, it really does help guide the player. And th that, like hearing things in the distance, um, I was getting honestly pretty frustrated. I probably edited all of, well, almost all of my complaints out because, you know, I didn't want to show you just me getting lost, but uh, I was getting pretty annoyed in the garden here, but now that I've gotten out, everything seems fine, so I think it's a bit too easy to get stuck in there. Froggy! Mr. Froggers. Let's go see Mr. Froggers. Parker wants the frog. Barky. I can't see. Okay, get down. 
Sorry. You can't eat that frog. Is that kitty? Ah, oh, stupid birds. Nobody likes you, stupid birds. Parker! Ah. Oh, chickens! Chickens! Hey, chickens. I really like the sort of, you know, the misunderstanding things. That's a really cool idea. So, you know, at a distance, a lot of birds can sound alike. Why don't we just keep Kitty inside? This seems unfortunate. Parker is like rubbing his face on the screen. Doggy! Dog suck. Go away, dog. Nobody likes it. I really like how the colors get all desaturated when she's scared. Does some really cool stuff with the uh, visual style, which I was hoping for when I saw it. Oh man, I just love seeing that water while you're. That's just really cool. Nanny. Now we're back on a road here. I guess you could kind of figure out that you're on a road because, you know, dirt is, you know, feels different on your feet than, um, we've already been there, than, uh, you know, grass. So that kind of makes sense. Parker's watching, like, waiting for his time to strike. Huh? Oh, there's a house. Nanny, you traitor! How could you do this to me? You had a different house, didn't you? You love them more than me? <laughs> what is this? Oh. It's water dripping. Where is Kitty? Give Kitty. Ah, Belle. Shut up. Where is that bell? What's that? Well, let's do one more story thing. Oh, well, we found it already. Kitty! Come back here, ghost kitty. Are we closer now? Kitty. I saw that grim stuff in the distance. I'm not sure what that's about. Gate! Well, I won't show the whole thing, but this is Beyond Eyes. It's really cool. D don't get stuck in the garden like I did. That's... Oh, what's going on here? That's a sure way to not enjoy yourself, but... Uh... Okay, we'll see the spooky. I won't rob you guys of that. Oh! God. Okay. Oh, it's the pollution, I guess, she's smelling. That's... Oh, no, he didn't go over there. Mr. Bird! Interesting. Ah. Why is it... pecking? Alright, we'll cross the street. Right. Um... Stopping a bit sudden there. Did Parky? He can't eat that walk the terrifying path. Ugh. Yeah, that can't be fun. What you think, Parker? Hmm? I guess we're in a city sort of thing now. Yeah, the pacing's not really too bad after that 
garden debacle. I just got lost. I do still think the walking speed is a little bit too slow, but it's really not a problem unless you get stuck. Which of course I did. What we got here? We're gonna be in so much trouble. Where is your dumb butt, Nanny? Where the crap even are we? Some sort of town? Got a poster there. I just want to confirm that, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a town. Oh, and the game also has chapters, so if you wanted to skip back to something you already played, I'm not entirely sure how it splits those out. I guess, yeah, that was the intro garden sort of forest, I guess. And this is, seems to be a town. But yeah, this is Beyond Eyes. It's pretty cool.